Thanks for staying up with us. I'm Kenesha Dees. It's been an eventful night in the sports world. The Dodgers inch closer to being World Series champions with yet another win tonight over the Yankees. But here in the Rocket City, it was all about Alabama men's basketball. The tie took on Memphis Tigers in Huntsville's own Propes Arena. Our sports director, Mo Carter, joins us now in the studio. Mo, it's been a while since the tide played in the Rocket City. You're absolutely right, Kanisha. For the first time since 2019, Alabama men's basketball here in the Rocket City for another Rocket City Classic. The proceeds for tonight's preseason charity exhibition against the Memphis Tigers going to the Huntsville Hospital Foundation as the Crimson Tide took on Memphis. NATO's bringing his team to Huntsville for a battle with Memphis. And of course, uh, Memphis, they're a team that's poised to make a run in the AAC. Early on, Mark Sears, the Muscle Shoals man, cash money from three-point range. Crimson Tide lead by three. Less than two minutes ago later, we see Sears dishing it out to Jaron Stevenson in the corner, and his three-pointer is true. Sears ends the half with two assists. There you see Penny Hardaway right there. But back comes Memphis. Baraka Okoji pushes it to Musa Cease, and he throws it down with a two-handed jam. But then Alabama really started hitting their stride. Clifford Omori rocks the rim right here with the jam. Alabama led by 20 at the break. They go on to beat Memphis tonight by a final score of 96 to 88. We'll have uh, more in-depth highlights coming up later in sports. Now the return of the Rocket City Classic after a short hiatus, presenting a great opportunity to bring a high-profile basketball game back to the city's calendar of sporting events. This year's game between second-ranked Alabama and Memphis is the biggest matchup in the history of the series. Off the court, it's a financial boom for the city's tourism industry and a charity effort for the Huntsville Hospital Foundation. Simon Williams has more on that. Alabama men's basketball is back in Huntsville for the first time since 2020 and in the four years since the program has soared to unprecedented success winning two SEC regular season and conference tournament championships each making the Sweet 16 three times in the final four this past season. So getting the tide in town this year is massive for elevating Huntsville's sports profile. To bring Alabama here for any sport is special. To bring their basketball team with uh, a number two ranking is uh, takes it to a whole new level. This is the by far the biggest game we've been able to bring to Huntsville. Thankfully, uh, everybody partnered together, and we've got a packed house tonight. It's going to be a phenomenal atmosphere. To watch the number two team in the country play a really good Memphis team that expects to be in the NCAA tournament, too. But this year's edition of the Rocket City Classic being a preseason exhibition doesn't negate the value of the event for any involved. Head coach Nate Oates said scheduling a game in Huntsville was a priority. Huntsville is somewhere, you know, kind of between us and Memphis, so I thought thought it made sense. I like to play different places in, this, in the state. You know, Huntsville's, shoot, I think they might be the biggest city in the state now. A lot of people up there that are Alabama fans up in Huntsville that we want to get in front of. You know, we weren't able to schedule a regular season game up there, so I thought this was the next best alternative to go play an exhibition, and I'm looking forward to it. As of this writing, just eight tickets were available on Ticketmaster, so a sellout is almost a guarantee. It would be the second consecutive classic with a packed house after the Auburn family saw their Tigers take down UNC Asheville last year. If we're not sold out by the time this airs, we'll be within single digits of it. We haven't had a matchup like this before. Memphis people bought tickets. We've never had the visiting team come in here and buy a, uh, a bunch of tickets. So for us to be able to have just that piece of it, that's big. The Huntsville Sports Commission anticipates over $500,000 to come in through tickets, contributing to an economic impact of over $1 million when you factor in hotel stays and downtown dining. It's, it's a great event for Huntsville. What it does is bring people downtown. They're going to be eating our restaurants, drinking in our bars tonight. We're all going to be celebrating, and we're going to have excitement here. It's, it's fun to be in downtown Huntsville. And adding to the goodwill of the game is a $50,000 donation to the Huntsville Hospital Foundation to equip local facilities with automated external defibrillators. Obviously, City of Huntsville Park's a wreck. We need AEDs at every Little League field, and most of them haven't. But we're trying to just make sure that everybody has access to AEDs when they need it. Whether it's a rec center, an office building, whatever it may be, to be able to have those rescue and life-saving equipment available all over town is a huge opportunity for us that we couldn't pass up. While nothing is set for next year just yet, organizers want this to be an annual event, bringing power conference men's and women's basketball to Huntsville. At Probst Arena, Simon Williams, Fox 54 News.
Wow, you can't beat that economic impact, and then they're giving back in such a big way, Mo. Absolutely. Um, a lot of good things going on uh, with the Huntsville, Huntsville Sports Tourism Bureau yes. and, of course, the University of Alabama coming through, Memphis fans coming through, over 5,000 fans inside the arena tonight when I made my way over there. And when I was leaving close to halftime, people were still coming in. Wow. Yeah, so I would love to see what that final attendance number is. I hope to have it for you later in sports. Oh, yes. Thank you so much, Mo. While the game may be over, an impact by the Alabama squad was made Monday morning. This morning, the team paid a visit to Huntsville Hospital for women and children, surprising patients and fans ahead of the exhibition. Players and coaches say being able to put a smile on kids' faces made them happy as well. Being able to come in here is like, for us as players, it wasn't just us putting a smile on their face, like we put a smile on our faces. Giving back to the community, um, being there for the kids, and it was definitely a great, great experience. It was great for our guys to interact with some of the patients, some of the families. I think it's good for our guys to see what other children are going through. I think it also cheered up some of the patients. I think kind of see the big, bright smiles that the patients got when the guys came in and wanted to take some pictures. So some of these kids are going through a lot. I think it made a lot meant a lot to the kids to have our guys here cheer up their day for them. Oh, we love that. And patients and fans were able to take pictures and get autographs from members of the team.